Hi there, this is Rob from Reason101.net and I'm back again for part two of um, creating a selectable Thor filter as we see here. Um, so to recap from last time we have um, the filter type which is selectable on rotary one, we have the frequency selectable on rotary two, resonance, envelope amount on three and four, and the envelope on on button four. So let's just continue with this. Oh, we also have the drive parameter being controlled by the modulator, um, by the mod wheel. So to control, um, to move on from this, let me just start it up. Um, turning the envelope on, what's happening is the gate length parameter is controlling um, the gate that's going into this envelope, and um, that's what you're going to be hearing, basically. Um, so if you play around with the gate and just randomize the pattern, you can hear that the gate will change and this changes your envelope length or your gate trigger for your envelope length. So that's one thing you can do with um, the envelope. Um, the other thing you can do is uh, we can assign different parameters to the envelope. Um, so, for example, if we take the global envelope here and we put it 100% and we have it affect the chorus uh, modulation amount and then turn the chorus on, you can hear how that changes the, the sound of the envelope. Um, the other thing you can do is you can have it affect the um, filter 3 resonance. Turn it down a little. Um, turn the filter frequency down, and that's going to affect your resonance. Okay, so now what if we want to affect both filter 3 resonance and the delay or the uh, chorus modulation amount, But we want to have um, we want to select be able to select between those things. So over here, let's program a button to be the chorus on, and then for button three, we will um, turn the chorus on. Which again, you have to go down this long, long Thor list. Um, I hope this changes in reason five. Um, So here we're going to turn this to the chorus on, so when you click it, the chorus goes on and off over here. Okay, perfect. Now these two buttons, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them be the envelope going to the chorus, and this one is going to be the envelope going to the resonance. Okay, so what you have to do to achieve this is on button one, um, let me just see here, this is going to be the chorus. So what you're going to do is on button one, you're going to have it affect this destination amount um, for the global envelope, which is one, two, three, four, the fifth destination amount. Okay, so on button one, you've got to go down that list once again. Wait until you get all the way to the very bottom. And then you're going to have it affect the destination amount, 5. And for button 2, you're going to have to go down this list one more time. And button 2 is going to affect the envelope resonance. So wait till you get to the fourth destination amount in the list. And there you go. Okay, so now um, destination amount of Number five is going to be your chorus, and that's going to be 100% amount. So what you're going to do is you're going to have you're going to have it start off at zero, and you want it to go to 100. This one you're going to have it start off at zero again, but you're going to go to 75 because that's the amount that we've chosen here. Um, so let's just bring that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now when you play it. All right, so your envelope is on, it's affecting your frequency, 
we can turn a chorus on and have the envelope affect the modulation on the chorus. Or you can have it affect the resonance. off and the envelope isn't going to do anything, turn it on, and then the envelope is going to go to the chorus. It's going to go to this chorus amount over here. And of course the other thing you can do is you can go down to your gate length and you can change that to be a random pattern. Or have it affect both. And then, of course, since you can change the filter type, you can end up doing some pretty wild things with it. Okay, so that's my little lesson for uh, today. I hope you learned something useful, and uh, come visit me at reason101.net. Thanks again for your time.